Hello and welcome to Upside Down Crypto. This video is part two of a Chia not sinking troubleshooting video I've made earlier. I've linked the part one in the video description below. Make sure you check that out as well. That's got some simple solutions for fixing your sinking issues. So in this video, I'll be looking at some more advanced issues that may be causing your application not to sink. So let's get started. I'm going to keep this very brief. There are many reasons your Chia app may not be syncing. Some of them are very simple fixes and some of them are a bit more complicated. So number one, in the last video, I forgot to mention that you should try restarting your computer. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? It's a very easy solution, obviously. So try to update your computer to the latest version of Windows and also just restart your computer. Number two, your port 8444 is closed on your router. Your Chia app will try a UPnP request to the router and try to open the port by itself. UPnP is not really reliable. Solution is to add the port forwarding through your router manually. But first, let's check if your port 8444 is blocked or not. To do that, we can use Telnet. Telnet is actually pre-installed on every Windows machine. So go to turn Windows features on or off on your computer and there find Telnet, click on it, then click on OK. Now we open the command line. So just type in CMD. First, we need to get your IP address, your local IP address. Type in IP config, enter. Now this is your local IP address on this machine. Copy that because you'll need this to set up your port forwarding as well. Use Telnet followed by your IP address and your port. Obviously, I know my 8444 is open. I want to show you what kind of error you get if your port is not open. So I put down a random port and let it check for that port and you get this error. So if you get this error when you put down 8444, you know your port is closed. There's another way you can check it out as well is using an online tool which doesn't work all the time. It's called portchecker.co, but I prefer using the command line. In order to open your port forwarding, I found an article on how to geek, and it explains it much better than I do. So I put a link below so you can check out that article. Basically, you need to connect to your router's admin panel. It's usually 192.168.1.1 one or dot zero dot one or dot one dot ten depending on your router you connect there and there's always an option in the routers on the network usually and it's called port forwarding so you put your ip address your local machine and you forward your port 8444 i'm going to link this article in the description so you can check it out let's move to number three check your error logs so all your chia setting files sit on your c user username and dot chia so if you go to here it's dot chia and mainnet and this is all your settings if you actually delete these you're not going to lose anything if you delete these then restart the application they will get repopulated again but it might take a few hours so to see your log error logs you go to log and debug.txt as you can see i have loads of error logs here a lot of them are not serious but what you want to do is go through them if you see and find something unusual just copy and paste it on google copy and paste the error code on google and you usually find solutions on the internet so moving on to number four is having a corrupt database so if i go to mainnet db you see we have a few databases here okay so they're sql light usually if you have a database error you get something like SQLite database error in the log file. In order to fix it, you can just simply delete your database. Actually, you can delete the whole database folder. First, close your Chia application, delete the whole database folder, then restart your Chia application. Another solution is to just delete everything on the mainnet and hoping that that will fix the solution, but it's gonna take ages for it to sync. Moving on to the next item, just Go to your full node and just check everything's connected properly. Make sure your status is good, is synced, everything's connected. Check for any errors here. Moving on to the next item, um, not having enough connections. So these are connections we have. So we're connecting to different nodes and stuff here. So you can actually connect to more nodes to help you sync faster. 
So there's a list of IP addresses that you can add to your node and you can then have more connections. I'm going to add all these addresses in the video description. So you find one, you go on connect to nodes, you paste it, and you put down the port number, and you press on connect, and that should get added to your node list. So just to summarize, make sure you watch part one, because in part one, I spoke about more simple stuff like running your Chi application in, in admin mode, making sure you have the right date and all that stuff. And also make sure you restart your computer, update your windows, make sure port 8444 is open, make sure you check error logs, make sure you check your database corruption and make sure you have full node connections. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any other suggestions, please comment below, please consider subscribing and smashing that like button. It's been scientifically proven that my subscribers are more likely to win a Chia coin. So make sure you do that. And until the next video, crypto out.